Welcome back dear students. Now that the summary of chapter 23, the land of India has been explained to you, you now know what are the six important physical divisions of our country. We will now proceed towards the keywords and things to remember from the chapter and then gradually do the book exercises and question answers from the same. So let's get started. Key words, physical divisions, parts of a country or the world which have different natural features. Range, a row of mountains or hills. Glacier, a large mass of ice that moves very slowly down a mountain valley. Timber, wood that is used for building and making things. Alluvial plain. A land formed of soil left by rivers. Fertile, where plants grow well. Other important terms from the chapter are Peninsula, a part of land surrounded by water on three sides or most of the sides. Island, a piece of land surrounded by water on all four sides. Vegetation, it refers to plants, types of plant growing in an area. It is also called flora. Fauna, types of animals found in an area. Let us now do the book exercises. Tick the correct answer. Another name given to the greater Himalayas is Himadri. Mount Everest is the world's highest mountain peak. Which mountain range has protected India from foreign invasions? The Himalayas. 4. The desert region of India is also called the Thar Desert as well as the Great Indian Desert. Both are correct. This forms the largest alluvial plain, Northern Plains. Match the columns. Mount Everest is in Nepal. Northern Plains. Good for growing crops. Peninsula. Southern part of India. Little rainfall. Desert. Coastal Plains of India on both sides of the southern plateau. Fill in the blanks. The Thar Desert is also called the Great Indian Desert. Terrace farming and sheep rearing are very common in Shivalik. The northern plains lie between Himalayas and southern plateau. In the north of Deccan plateau lies Satpura and Vindhya mountain range. The highest mountains in the Himalayas are, are always covered in snow. Now, let us do the question answers from the chapter. Question 1. Name the three parallel ranges of the Himalayas. Answer. The Greater Himalayas or Himadri. The Middle Himalayas or Himachal. 3. The Outer Himalayas or Shivalik. Question 2. Name any three rivers which originate from the Himalayas. Answer. The Indus, the Ganges and the Brahmaputra originate from the Himalayas. Question 3. Why do most rivers in the southern plateau flow from west to east? Answer. The southern plateau slopes downwards from west to east. Which is why most rivers in the region flow from west to east. Question 4. Why is Thar Desert scarcely populated? Scarcely means very little. Answer. The Thar Desert is scarcely populated because of the difficult living condition. It's dry and receives very little rainfall. Hardly any plants or trees are found here. Summers are very hot and winter nights are bitterly cold. 
क्वेश्चन फाइव वाई आर नॉर्दर्न प्लेन रिच एंड फर्टाइल आंसर द नॉर्दर्न प्लेन आर रिच एंड फर्टाइल एज इट फॉर्म्स द लार्जेस्ट अलूवियल प्लेन इन द वर्ल्ड वाई आर द हिमालयाज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर आवर कंट्री students the answer to this question is importance of the himalayas all the points are given in the book you can learn these or you can write the same in your evs notebooks thank you